today in the snowmobile industry, we're finding that the suspension systems, I don't care what make manufacturer, are very highly sophisticated and very tunable. Uh, but there's a wide range of tunability in them that probably most of us don't understand and we're probably not trained to even do it. So today, we're actually going to show you how we've been trained and fortunately, um, we were invited to the Yamaha Motor University to learn specifically on Yamaha how to adjust the suspension. Yamaha uses a really high quality uh, remote reservoir uh, GYT shock um, basically in their, their R's vector line and uh, the phaser um, FX Nitro here also uses that but um, you got both the compression and rebound dampening adjusters. Number one, when you do adjust it always go in small increments because a small increment does a huge is a, is a huge adjustment and you'll, you'll, you will feel it. But uh, that's number one. Number two, and it may sound funny to you, but write it down. I mean, have a pen and a paper handy. Write down what you're doing to that suspension and make sure you're doing it both on both sides because um, one of the greatest missed things when you're tuning your suspension is you do forget where you're at. And you'll actually have a worse ride than what you would if it'd be just stock. Another point to remember when you're adjusting your suspensions on your clickers, when you turn them all the way to the soft position, which is turning them left, you'll, you'll, go, you'll bottom them and then you hit that first detent. You'll hear it click and you'll actually feel it too. That's your zero point, not number one, that's your zero. So from there you start with one, two, and so on and so forth. Yamaha basically sets all their suspensions up in the mid-range and the mid-range is usually uh, it's set at approximately a rider that's about 200 pounds, but you know, depending on how aggressive a rider you are, that'll vary. So you probably want to make adjustments according to how you ride. On the compression side of the shock, when you turn it down, basically what you're doing is you're opening an orifice. So you're allowing more oil to go through. So when you hit that big bump, you're going to compress that shock faster. And you're going to feel that in your handlebars. So as you're turning it tighter, you're closing that orifice down and you, when you hit that big bump, it's going to restrict that shock to come up at a softer rate. So when you turn the clicker right, you're screwing that needle in. When, you're, when you turn it left or softer position, you're screwing the needle out. On the other end of the shock, the rod side, you have the rebound side. Now the rebound, it's kind of the same thing. When it's like a needle and it's orifice oil going through the passage. And as you screw the adjuster inward, again, you're restricting the flow of oil. So now when the rebound is like, okay, now your shock is fully compressed, how fast do you want that to rebound? So the smaller the orifice, the longer it's going to take to rebound. The larger the orifice, it might drop faster but you got to be careful so you don't get that bounce effect. And again, you're going to feel it in your handlebars on the front suspension. In summary, the front suspension is very easy to calibrate. Uh, you basically, you really don't have to touch the spring unless you're in an extreme case, but you basically got your compression and rebound. And not out of 10 times, you probably ain't even going to have to touch it. But if you do, key points to remember, small increments and write down what you did. Another suspension that we're going to cover here today is the FX Nitro RTX. This is your rough trail suspension. One important adjustment that you can make before you actually go out and ride, or actually the best time to do it, is with your dealer so he can assist you, or if you're confident enough to do it at home, feel free to do so. But we want to do the SAG adjustment. The key things to remember when you're adjusting that is you really should, it takes two people. Um, you need two people because one, you need the operator, which is probably you, to be it fully dressed in your gear because that you can figure anywhere from 20 to 30 pounds when you had your gear on. So start out with that and then have your buddy come over and help you out and then check SAG. Now how we're going to do that is you're going to, the operator is going to basically just sit on the sled in your normal riding position. Obviously this is not your normal riding position. You're going to get an inaccurate reading if you do it that way. Most likely, your normal riding position will be right here. So when you're sitting in that position, have your second guy, your helper, take the reading as far as what the adjustment is.
The measurement you're going to be looking at is the distance between your block and the arm here. Now oh, it's recommended from Yamaha that you that gap should be 9 to 15 millimeters. So if that gap is not, if it's out of calibration, you probably the target is in the middle. Of, let's let's say you want 12, uh, but if you're in that range, you can leave it. But let's say it's the gap is way too wide. Well, if it's way too wide, it's definitely calibrated way too stiff. So what you need to do is you take your wrench and you adjust your cams to lighten the spring pressure. And you do that on both sides. Just don't do one side, do both sides. So you lighten it up, have the, the operator sit on it again, take another reading, and like I say, if you're within that 9 to 15 millimeters, you're going to be set. Now on a brand new model, you're probably going to want to you know, run a couple tanks of gas through it and check it again. Because all suspensions, they have their break-in period too, and then you're going to want to want to recheck it and to make sure where it's where it's sitting is where you're happy with. In in most cases, this one adjustment is all you're going to have to do. One other point to keep in mind when you're adjusting your suspension: when you adjust in the front, it's going to affect the back, or if you adjust the back, it is going to affect the front. So you're always going to be kind of going back and forth to find that happy medium or to find that ride that's just right for you. The next suspension we're going to cover is the XTX Nitro rear suspension. The SAG on that one is, is again, we're going to want the operator who's going to operate the sled sit on it fully geared. And you're going to, have, you're going to also need another guy again to uh, take the measurement. The measurement you're looking for is the distance between this point and the washer right here. And again, you're going to be measuring in millimeters. Yamaha spec in this distance is 16 to 22 millimeters. Again, that's with the operator sitting on the seat in the riding position, not just sitting on the seat, relaxing position. Let's say we're at 10 millimeters. Well, at 10 millimeters, that's obviously too much sag. We're going to need to stiffen it up. To stiffen it up, we're going to use this three cam adjuster, which you got a soft, medium, and hard setting. So if we're in the medium setting now, we're going to set it up, we're going to set it to the hard setting. And we're going to set both sides, not just one side. One thing to keep in mind is when you're adjusting these suspensions is that the stock uh, springs on this setup um, is for a range of a rider. If you exceed that, or way less than that, there are other springs available um, and basically you just put the different spring in and you start all over again. So, but there is a setting there that is just right for you. And basically that's, uh, that is key and that's the initial adjustment that you need to make on your sled. I hope this presentation helped you understand the adjustments in the Yamaha suspension. On behalf of Maximum Sled, I would like to thank Yamaha Motor University and I also would like to thank Hutchinson Motorsports in Hutchinson, Minnesota to take the time to train us and help educate you to optimize your ride for the season.